History or political readers often think lowly of fantasy books and those who read them. But trust me, if you pick the right fantasy book, no other writing in the world can come close to the magic of this genre. It takes you on a journey to a mythical land with characters so lovable that nobody wants to step out of the fantasy into the real world. There are only so many sappy and cliche love stories a person can tolerate and read. A perfect break from such typical stories are books from the fantasy genre. Along with filling your cup of romance, these books will also give you badass female characters, fire-breathing dragons and other mystical creatures, dangerous quests along the continent, and lots of magic. So instead of wasting your night on another sappy love triangle featuring a damsel in distress, you need to start reading any one of the fantasy books that we will share with you in this video. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and share. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Links to the books are given in the description below. Number 10. City of Bones, The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare Before going into a discussion about the book, let's talk a bit about the author. Cassandra Clare spent most of her life traveling with a bag of books, which is why her writing is creative, diverse, and none like anything else you will find in libraries. A list of the best fantasy books is incomplete without some magic. The City of Bones is the first book of the Mortal Instruments series, and when we say once you start reading it, you will not be able to put it down, we are not joking. Clary Frey is an average teenager whose life goes up in flames when she witnesses a murder, by none other than pre-teenagers close to her own age. You'd think she would call the cops, but when the body disappears within seconds, and no one else except her is able to see the killers, it isn't possible for her to do that. A single encounter with the Shadowhunters, especially Jace, completely changes the course of her life, as soon afterward she finds herself under an attack by a demon, with none other than Jace coming to her rescue. The story revolves around Clary Jace and the do hunting demons together to uncover the truth that is being hidden from them. However, there is a high chance that they might not like what they are trying so hard to discover. Number 9. Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adayemi The creative mind of Tomi Adayemi is behind this book. Having a degree in English literature from Harvard, Tomi has a way with words that makes her readers fall in love with her writing. Growing up with magic all around, Zeli Adebola and her people do not know any other way of life except through magic. However, due to a cruel prince, on an unfortunate night, Life as Zali knows changes completely when all the mages are killed, including her own mother. She swears to bring the magic back and fight the evil prince, but the journey is not as easy as it seems, as she has to fight creatures crawling on the ground, as well as the ones hiding in the water. However, fighting deadly creatures is easier than fighting your own feelings, especially when they are for a person you are supposed to hate, as he is responsible for the ruin of her people. Number 8. The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. The fifth season is brought to us by N.K. Jemison, a 50-year-old author from Naoa. The blend of her excellent penmanship and her creative imagination is the reason her work is worth the time and effort. The fifth season is honestly one of the best binge-reading fantasy books as it is a perfect blend of mystery and fantasy. Essen has a normal and happy life, till the day she comes home to find the corpse of her son and her daughter being kidnapped, and both of these events are done by none other than her husband. At the same time, two other tragedies also strike the continent, in the form of a world-leading empire sands, and a rift being torn in the heart of the continent's stillness that brings darkness all over the continent. Read this amazing series and follow Essen on her journey among the darkness, ruin, and chaos to find and save her daughter. Number 7. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis This amazing series has been brought into the world of fantasy by C.S. Lewis. Despite the fact that this book series was published decades ago, it is still at the top of the fantasy fiction genre. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, or as we millennials like to call it, The Chronicles of Narnia, is hands down one of the best fantasy series. This book has everything from talking animals and magic to a dreamy and enchanted forest. The fate of the forest and the creatures living in it depends upon Lucy and her three siblings, as fate takes them to the forest through a magical wardrobe. To revive Narnia, they have to fight and end the evil rule of the White Witch. But will these four kids be able to overrule the evil witch, especially when she has magic on her side? The entire book keeps the readers captivated till the last page with the plot twists. Number 6. A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah Jamaz The name behind A Court of Thorns and Roses is Sarah Jamaz, 
a 36 years old woman who lives for fantasy fiction. The only thing that surpasses her love for fantasy fiction is writing stories that her readers can simply never put down. Fair Archeron is a human huntress who has grown up hating the fae kind living across the wall. But when an uneventful day takes her right into the clutches of a fahai lord Tamlin, she discovers that there is more to the story than she has known all her life. As the chemistry between Tamlin and Fair grows, she discovers the truth about a curse of an evil ruler, Amarantha, who has cursed the Fae Land. If she wants to save Tamlin in the Fae Land, Fair must discover a way to beat Amarantha. But in the middle of that, she finds herself crossing paths with another Fahai lord, Ryzen, who is hiding a lot behind his hateful exterior. A Court of Thorns and Roses is the first book of the series, and kid you not, it is binge-worthy. Number 5. Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo Six of Crows has been written by Lee Bardugo, an Israeli author who loves turning the stories living in her head into words on paper. Being one of the best fiction writers, Lee has a way of weaving tales that will leave her readers awestruck. Kaz Brecker is a criminal who knows everything in this life comes at a cost. Living in Ketterdom, he is aware of the reality that anything can be done for the right price. So Wing is offered a chance to earn more than he has ever made in his entire life combined. Kaz embarks on the deadly journey with his crew. However, they are not any regular group of individuals but include a convict, a runaway, a shooter, a thief, and a heart render. Six of Crows shows the entire group fighting not only what awaits them on their deadly journey, but also struggling to keep themselves from slitting each other's throats. Number 4. Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan The man behind Percy Jackson and the Olympians is an American author named Rick Riordan. The first book of the series was published in 2005, and you can also find its movie which was released in 2010. This series is a jackpot for all the Greek mythology fans out there. The Lightning Thief is the first book in the series of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. The story begins with Percy, a teenager who always finds himself in situations that are hard to understand or explain. When his algebra teacher turns into a monster and tries to eat him, it is time for him to see the other side of his life. Percy moves to Camp Half-Blood, which is a camp for training demigods, and there he learns about his actual father, none other than the god of sea, Poseidon. Many mysteries unfold in that camp that force Percy to travel across the country with his friends, a satyr and the daughter of Athena, to prevent a catastrophic war between the gods. The journey itself is full of ugly surprises for Percy and his friends, making one wonder if they will even make it to their destination, the gates of the underworld. Number 3. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling This amazing series has been brought to us by J.K. Rowling, who is a British author. The idea for the series came to her while she was waiting for her train in Manchester, and the book was published in 1997. You do not have to be a fantasy or even a reading fan to know about Harry Potter. The series ruled the entire childhood and teenage years of millennials these days, which is why Gen Z readers need to read it as well. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone is the first book of the series. After losing both of his parents as a kid, Harry has spent all of his life with his horrific aunt and uncle. But he gets a chance to a different life when a letter arrives accepting him into Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. What Harry does not know is that a different life does not always mean a better life, as at Hogwarts, there are forces and truths about his parents' death waiting for his arrival. Number 2. A Game of Thrones a Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin George R. R. Martin is the name behind A Game of Thrones. He started the first book of the series A Song of Ice and Fire in 1991 and then published it in 1996. Having a knack for fantasy and mystery, you can keep high hopes from the books of this author. Before ruling on our TV screens for years, A Game of Thrones ruled on our shelves for decades and is still going. This series is one of the most fascinating ones in the fantasy genre. Beyond the protective wall of Winterfell, there are forces brewing on the frozen lands. On the other side of the kingdom, the right hand of the king dies mysteriously, and right in the middle of it are the Starks of the Winterfell. When Edmund Stark gets lords, ladies, and mystical creatures, a Game of Thrones will take you on a journey of a lifetime. However, make sure to disconnect your phone and other gadgets, as you will not want to be disturbed while reading this book. Number 1. The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien The first book on our list of the best fantasy books is The Lord of the Rings, but before getting into details about the book, 
Let's talk about J.R.R. Tolkien, the author of the series. Along with writing this fantastic book, he was among the best academics at the University of Oxford, where he taught for most of his life. With magic, fights, and mystical creatures, this book is the epitome of the fantasy genre. When the rings of power were forged, a dark lord named Sauron created the One Ring which packed all of his power. However, the ring got taken from him and after years fell into the hands of a hobbit named Bilbo Baggins. However, when the hobbit disappears, the One Ring gets passed on to his cousin, Frodo along with a quest to journey across Middle-earth and destroy the ring in the cracks of doom. Frodo along with other hobbits and a wizard named Gandalf go on a quest into the kingdom of the Dark Lord who has been searching for his One Ring for decades. What awaits them in the kingdom will keep you up all night hooked to the book. Even though there are many books in the genre fantasy, the ones shared in the video are right at the top of the pyramid, and we found them for you after hours of labor. Each one of these books is amazing in its own way, so we hope you enjoyed reading them as much as we did. If this video helps you find the next book you are going to read, then like and share this video. Let me know in comment section on what type of books I should cover in my next video. Also, if you read one of the books mentioned in this video, share your review or thoughts with us. Subscribe this channel for more such awesome videos. Thanks for watching.